This is Andrew Huberman, and today we're gonna to go over his morning routine to optimize your health and dopamine. The first thing we did in the morning when we woke up is hydrate. After being asleep for several hours, you're extremely dehydrated, so getting this some water and especially some electrolytes is extremely beneficial. I choose to hydrate with liquid IV, as well as I add in my five grams of creatine just to make sure I got it in for the day. That way, I don't forget. The single best thing you can do for your sleep, your energy, your mood, your wakefulness, your metabolism <laughs> is to get natural light in your eyes early in the day. You heard the man. Next thing on the list was getting some natural light on the face. And so I did this by going for about a 20 minute walk. Nothing crazy, but it makes a world of difference in my energy throughout the day. Deliberate cold exposure is one way to enrich the amount of brown fat. You get a, a stronger furnace, achieve much bigger increases in core uh, resting metabolism, um, improvements in blood lipid, uh, blood lipid and, and insulin management profiles. And there's some other positive effects like improved mental resilience. So a lot of positive effects. Next thing on the agenda was some cold exposure. Whether it's a cold plunge or a cold shower, there are many benefits to cold exposure and it is something I highly recommend. A practice that's very useful to people is to delay the intake of caffeine by 60 to 90 minutes after waking. Allow the adenosine to be cleared out because it's not just cleared out in sleep, it's also cleared out in those kind of sleep states of early morning. So allow it to be cleared out. For people to have an afternoon crash, this can have tremendous benefits of, and maybe start by pushing it out 15 minutes per day. Most all, everyone that does this says, oh my goodness, I didn't understand why in the afternoon I'm crashing so hard. This right here is probably one of the best things I have learned from Andrew Huberman. Besides the morning walk, which actually makes a huge difference in my day to day. Getting a little bit of sun on the face, even on a cloudy day, those rays are still coming through. It makes a huge difference in my energy, my mood, my ability to fall asleep back at night. And then delaying that first cup of coffee. I used to be an individual that as soon as I woke up, I had like a syringe next to my bed with caffeine. I would just inject it straight into my veins. Okay, not really, but my point was I would drink coffee right away. Versus if you delay the first cup, the caffeine actually gets to do what it needs to do. And I can get the amazing benefits of the caffeine by drinking way less. And I've actually had problems in the past with drinking too much caffeine where I get like anxiety, I get jittery. And so delaying the first cup of coffee, having a little bit less caffeine makes a world of difference in my productivity, my mood, the ability to reduce the risk for anxiety and all that stuff because of how much caffeine I used to drink in the past. So that's one thing I've learned from Andrew Huberman that I recommend. Delay that first cup, hour and a half to two hours you won't regret it. For the next part of my day, I just focus on getting some work done. That included some journaling, working on online clients, meal plans and workout programs, and just getting extremely focused for the rest of my day. Because the next thing on the agenda after this was a workout. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, done with the workout. I'm on a little bit of a post-workout meal right now. I am still on this kind of kick of the animal-based diet. Like literally ever since I did that video, eating like the Lever King for a day, I've only really wanted to eat meat and fruit. It's kind of weird. So I'm just consuming about a pound of 85, 15 ground beef. I don't have any fruit with me, but I do have this honey that I'll probably have a couple spoonfuls full of. I've also been using the honey for a bit of a pre-workout carb and it gives me the best pump, I swear. Besides that, overall, Andrew Huberman's daily routine is 
absolutely fantastic. It's just the little details that make a huge difference. Getting some sunlight in the morning, delaying that first cup of coffee. If you have the tenacity to take a cold shower or give yourself some type of cold exposure, it really makes a big difference in your day. And if you guys don't follow Andrew Huberman, I'm gonna leave his channel in the description down below. Give him a follow because his tips and tricks to optimize the human performance, they really do work. And the best part is they don't cost anything extra. Waking up early and getting some sunlight in the face, that's effectively free to do. Your cup of coffee that you might have in the morning, just push it back a little bit. And if anything, you'll probably be saving money not using hot water and using the cold water instead. As the rest of the day went on, I finished this meal, trained some clients, and just got a bunch of work done throughout the day which brings me to this moment right here which is the end of the video i am wrapping the video up here ladies and gentlemen this is like the third time i've done one of andrew huberman's daily routines or morning routines i'll be honest this guy started popping up on my tiktok fyp i started seeing these tips and tricks and honestly i was a bit skeptical i was like yeah 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 another one of this hocus pocus type of situations however a lot of these simple changes really do make a big difference i understand that not everybody can wake up in the morning and get sunlight for some people they start work at like 5 a.m and so they're up at like four or something like that and at that time the sun's not really out however it's all about trying different things out seeing what works for you what doesn't work for you for me this routine and this daily habits have made a huge difference in my productivity my mood my energy throughout the entire year because so i've really been implementing some of these practices since the start of this year and i can really feel a difference when I do them versus when I don't do them. And so give some of these tips and tricks a shot. Let me know in the comments down below if you do. I'm wrapping the video up here. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you guys are new. It's been your boy Joe. Peace.